Hello, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams tutorial series, you will learn how to create a simple PowerPoint table with arrows. The diagram you will learn to create looks like this. First, I have the first text box coming in. On a click, I have another one, another one, another one. So this is a very useful diagram whenever you you want to talk about four steps in a process and the associated explanation or if you want to talk about four milestones along a road map and the associated explanation etc and these text boxes make your slide look professional and attractive let me show you how to create this beautiful looking powerpoint tables by going to a new slide as always, whenever you want to create a new slide, you have a button here. So click on it and you will be able to create a new slide. First, we will have some title here. Say your slide title text here. I always prefer to have the title text written so that I know what exactly is the space I have to work with. Next, let me go to Auto Shapes menu and under Rectangles, I have various options here. The option that I'm going to choose is this one called as rounded rectangle and I'm going to have the rounded rectangle drawn here. Now the curvature can always be adjusted by moving this yellow handle. Maybe we can have it slightly pushed out so that the shape looks the way that we want it. The next thing is I want to have a space or a bar for the title which I am going to create by having a rectangle which I pick from this option called rectangle. So I pick up that option and I am going to draw the rectangle here. Now this is going to be the place where I write the text so your sub title text. So this is where your subtitle text goes. We are done here. Next, we will select all of them, press Ctrl G so that you group them, press Ctrl D, 1, 2, 3, so I have created three copies, Ctrl D allows you to create duplicates. I will move this last one somewhere here, which is the place where I want the fourth one to be. Then I select all of these boxes and go to Arrange go to align and then go to this option called as distribute horizontally. Now I see that the boxes are almost cramped up so that is the reason why it's a good idea to move these slightly to this side so we can create some space. Now once again we will do the same operation arrange align and distribute horizontally. Yeah this seems okay. Now we need to arrange align and align top. And there we are, all our shapes are in place. The next thing I'm going to do is to give these the color that makes it possible for us to distinguish each step of the process. So I'm going to select all of them, right click, group and ungroup. This allows me the opportunity to color these things individually. First I go to the first box go to format and I'm going to use one of the quick styles here say this is the color that I would like to have which is called as aqua next I will have say this one next I'll have a green color and the next I'll have a blue color so that looks good it is always a good idea whenever you create a box and if you want to have the title highlighted it is a good idea to use a darker version of the same color so that the colors don't clash and don't look odd for uh, on a business slide so we click on this one and I'm going to use this aqua accent 5 darker 50% so that makes it much more beautiful than um, the actual one the default one and maybe I can have a white outline so this looks good then 
because this is purple i am going to use the darker version and white outline same thing goes for this as well i have darker green and white outline and for this as you would expect a darker blue and white outline so that looks beautiful now we are going to write some text you can replace the sample text with your own text and let me space it okay here so I'm going to keep it here and this looks good enough and I usually go for 20 as a choice maybe if you have more space you can repeat the sentence you can replace this sample text with yours your text okay so this looks good if I want maybe I can have it all aligned centrally now I'm going to copy this control C control V 1 2 3 so control C control V is another way by which you can copy and paste the objects so now that I have pasted I am keeping them in their place just to make sure that they are all aligned properly I am selecting all of these and go to top and distribute horizontally these are the shortcuts that I have uh, put them on quick access toolbar which makes it easy for me to work with them now the next step is to have an arrow which shows that there is a flow between these processes so I'm going to go to um, any of that I can use these or I can use in basic shapes I can use this rectangle isosceles triangle sorry yeah triangle and I can rotate it arrange rotate and rotate right 90 degrees maybe I can reduce the space I mean size a little bit keep it here yeah that looks okay maybe slightly smaller would work fine so that's good now while holding the control uh, button I am dragging the shape and there it is there I have created two more copies which indicates that there is a flow here now I am going to select these arrows and I am going to give them a distinct color in this case a tan color and that is it now all I need to do is to group these back again now whenever I group I want to group not only these but also the arrow that leads to this box so control G I'm going to repeat the same process control G and this one control G there we are now we are going to have all these shapes have some reflection so go to this basic preset called as tight reflection touching done and as we have discussed in our previous videos whenever you have a reflection it always makes sense to have a floor so that the uh, diagram looks more realistic and all I need to do to create a floor is to draw a rectangle remove the outline give it a light gray color right click and center back and that is it the diagram is ready now that we have grouped them in the right way all I'm going to do is click this first and while holding the shift button I'm going to click this group second third fourth and all of them I want to be wiping from left and on click so that is how the whole thing works now let me go to the slideshow and let us see if this works first I have a click I have the first title and the associated text coming in the next step in the process the next step and the next step if you think if you want to uh, increase the font size of this title you can always do so so that there is uh, there doesn't look like you know that the title is 18 and the body text is 20 it looks slightly odd and that's the reason why I am doing this and there we are our diagram is complete as you have seen something as simple as creating four text boxes in a professional way takes a lot of time and if you were to add some animation to these boxes it takes even more time but the result is worth it however if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking text boxes and apply professional custom animation 
and work out all the timings uh the order of animation etc you can always take a look at our 630 plus custom advanced custom animation templates which are ready made off the shelf solutions for busy business presenters like you let me show you some example templates taken from our uh, powerpoint 630 plus advanced custom animation templates the first example is this one which talks about process flow we have the first step here the next step third step fourth step a very simple diagram which shows process flow downwards and this one is about three points along a process and we have shown that it is a process it's a continuous process which is indicated by an arrow and the three steps are shown as a ball and the associated text and a ball and associated text it shows that these steps fit along the process the next example is about three stage process where we talk about the starting point and then you have the first barrier through which the movement happens the next one the next one and the final end point this is another way we talk about the process and if you don't want too much of i mean animation for your templates which is advanced which if you want subtle basic animation and professional diagrams you can always take a look at our powerpoint ceo packs volume 1 and 2 the two ceo packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for ceos and busy business presenters like you just choose the template that matches your thought replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time creating professional quality business slides has never been easier hope you like the tutorial on creating simple powerpoint table with arrows If you want to learn more such tutorials, if you want to watch more such videos or if you want to read articles to improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.